Hey everybody, John C. Denise Richards and the lovely Lulu. Lulu. Welcome back to our All Things Home. We have missed you guys over the last week. <gasps> missed you so much. You so much. Happy August. Happy August 3rd. August 3rd. It's a wonderful day. Here we are in the summer. I know a lot of kids are already going back to school. I saw signs up that say kids go back to school next week. I Teachers can't believe went it. back today. Or did yesterday, they? I mean. Did they? Yes, really? they did. Wow, those teachers, they work hard. They are such hard workers. Thank you, all you teachers out there. Mad respect. Yep, don't know how you do it. I can barely deal with three kids. I don't know how you do 20. (laughs) I really don't know. Very special, unique angels on earth that teach our children. You're amazing. Thank you. It's not even teacher day, but thank you. Hey, what is today talking about days? Today is the one day that Florida is going to sit around and appreciate Georgia. It's National Georgia Day. National Georgia Day. Are you Happy from Georgia? National Happy Georgia National Georgia Day. Day. Yes. We have friends out there that are from Georgia. We got yeah. friends that play baseball in yeah. Georgia. I think of Cliff. Uh, what else about Georgia? But I, don't I think know. about football first when I think about Georgia, and then I think about Florida. So that's kind of why I said it that way. So true. But moving on, what else is it? Uh, National, what did I write there? Watermelon National Watermelon Day. Day. Oh, my God. I couldn't read my writing very well. It's National summer. Watermelon. Summer? It's summer. Perfect. It's perfect. It is perfect. I wonder if they grow a lot of watermelons in Georgia. I'll bet they do. We did in North Florida when we lived up in Gainesville. There was a lot of watermelon fields up there. Yeah. Strangely enough, yeah. That is strangely enough. What it's else also we got? it's also National IPA Day. What does that so even mean? So just think about sitting in your lawn chair, appreciating Georgia, having your watermelon, and drinking your IPA, and then you have checked all the boxes. What's IPA again? It's a beer. IPA beer. Have you had this <laughs> IPA beer? I don't know what it is. Uh, I know what beer is, but not IPA. Is it an expensive beer? Usually. And oh. kind of a craft beer, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Sounds hoity toity. What did we talk about last week, John? So much fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Retail Exodus, specifically out of San Francisco. Now, this is interesting that I want to bring this up again. By the way, if you want to see what we talked about in regards to retail or commercial space and how there's a mass exodus in some parts of the country, specifically San Francisco, I was talking with a friend of mine, Tony, today, who is a commercial real estate agent this morning uh, after basketball, and he said his inquiries and his lookies out there as buyers or renters is down 50%. 50? That's a big number. That's considerable. Yeah. So commercial real estate is not just slowing down, it's slowed down from what I'm hearing from him. Now, last week, we talked more about the West Coast. Um so we'll of see. the country. Yeah, the yeah. country. Yeah, the country. Yeah. So we'll see if this is pushing into Florida a little bit we'll or see. if it's just the summer, you know, slower months. Yeah, we will see. I don't think we'll ever see anything like they're seeing over on the West Coast no. in California. But no, there may be a trend there for sure. But Maybe last week's episode had to be one of my very top, yeah, it was five your top favorites. It was your top five. You were saying that during the episode, top favorite five. <laughs> um, so, yeah, commercial real estate. Now, I don't know a ton about commercial. I know enough to be dangerous. But if you have a question about commercial real estate, reach out to me. I'll connect you with a, I have two really strong powerhouses that do a lot of commercial real estate here in Southwest Florida. If you need help with that. Give me a shout. I'll connect you with them. Perfect, perfect. What it are we really going to talk perfect. about today, John? Okay, so today. To be I can't... present in the moment like we should. Be present in the moment. Sure. Uh, <laughs> Florida growth pushes some residents to relocate. Great article that I saw earlier. And I thought, first of all, because it's a it catches me because we know that the Florida population has grown pretty well over the last three years, especially since, you know. Yeah. The whole, China uh, inoculation um, situation. All right, so, uh, <laughs> but this article was interesting because Florida growth pushes some residents to relocate. Well, where are they relocating to? That was my first thought, mm-hmm. right? Are they leaving town? I mean, what's going on? Are they leaving the state? And well, maybe what parts of Florida are relocating? Well, that's what we're going to get into here. There are parts of Florida that are relocating, specifically Miami Dade County and Broward County. Now, before we jump into the article, what jumps out to you about that part of Florida? Like what jumps out in your head? Like when you think about that area of South East Florida, not West where we are, Southeast, what pops out? Politics was a big change okay. over the last three years. That's the one part of the state that had been blue that sw- flipped to red. Finally. And so there you have it. And I, I think, think the that's people a big that part of it. weren't having it left. They took off. All right. So this article basically says that uh, those two counties specifically have dropped in population over the last basic since 2020. So the last three years, they've fallen by anywhere from one to one and a half percent. Now that may not sound like a lot, but when your entire state is increasing three percent, 
which is what we've done over the last couple of years. 700,000 people have come to Florida. In and, spite of that. In spite of that. Yeah. So Miami sheds why Florida gains 700,000 residents. You feel like you're getting robbed. This is the number one reason over there. Mm-hmm. Now they're talking about in the article getting robbed physically because of safety, but also they're talking about because of the price to purchase a home or a condo or a townhouse over there. Very expensive. You know, I think we actually talked about that on another episode when we were talking about shelter costs having plateaued. Yes. They did not in the southeast region of Florida. Yes. They kept going. So I think this all makes sense. It's all coming together. All coming together. What else you got? Overwhelmed by noise. It's loud over there. It's a big city. It is city, city, like a concrete city, Miami, sort of. They don't like that. Airports, Mm -hmm. the airports are super loud. They got Fort Lauderdale and Miami Airport. There's a lot of them close together. Population, loss, fallout. Uh, Let's see here. Oh, then it talks about different parts of Florida, like the Tampa area prior to Miami. Uh, It says Tampa's calling their name, so people were moving over into other parts. So not people didn't necessarily leave the state. They just moved to different parts of Florida. Um, another one, greater investments in home building and public transit. So people are leaving because of that. Greater investments in other parts of Florida mm-hmm. and also public transit. Um, so those are some of the main reasons that the article states why people had left. Now, I think over on this coast, we got quite a few of those people. I'm pretty sure we got a lot of those Because we're an hour and a half, two hour drive from Miami-Dade County. Mm-hmm. My guest presenter this morning at the meeting moved here from Miami. Look at that. We didn't even stage that. How did that not. just happen? Just happen. So a lot of people are moving out of those areas on a daily basis, but into other parts. Mm-hmm. Um, my guess, though, would be that Miami and Dade slows down that bleed of losing people mm-hmm. because they are becoming not more conservative, but less liberal. Is that a way to say it? Yeah, I think that's a great way to say it. And I do think, too, that once they get plateaued on their shelter costs, which may have happened, mm-hmm. um, you're going to start to see it all catch up again with income and shelter costs. And it may settle down, too, but it's going to take longer than it does over here. I completely agree because it's a big area and it's slower to make those types of moves. Mm-hmm. Hey, great topic today. Uh, if you want to know more info- information on that, reach out to Denise Center. We'd be glad to chat with you about that. Let's talk before we go today. Yeah, important. Talk, talk about one of our favorite people in the United, actually the world. I was going to say United in States, the whole but probably wide the whole world. world. The galaxy. Karen. Karen. HR by Karen. HR by Karen. By Karen. She's great. Uh, she's a good friend of ours. She We've known her for years, and she does a great job helping you, whether you, if you're a business, if you want to build a book that talks about your business's procedures and rules. Handbook. That's what people call handbook. it, the handbook. <laughs> yeah. If you want an employee handbook, she'll help you put that together. If you have information on, if you want to ask questions about business or, you know what I heard too? She even can put the handbook in Spanish. Oh, my goodness sakes. I know. Espanol. She takes all that compliance concern away from the employer. She can do the whole gamut in different tiers, too. So if you don't need all of it, she's got a way to work with you on just the parts that you do need. But what does Karen always say? You can't spell HR HR without heart. No, you can't spell heart without HR. You can't spell heart without Without HR. HR. And if you meet Karen, she'll give you a big hug. Best hugger in the world. Big hugger in the world. She's a great person. Uh, That's it. This was a great video. If you didn't like and subscribe, go ahead and do that real quick. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. Please do that for us. And we hope your August is the best August you've ever had in your entire life. Ever stay cool. See you later.